I'm Gary from Piaget Planics of York Springs, Pennsylvania. We also have a store in Maryland called All Good Garden Supply, right outside of Baltimore. Um, we carry lots of different indoor grow tents, and that's what we're we'll talking about today. Um, make sure you follow us and all that on uh, YouTube, of course, and Facebook, Instagram. Um, we're going to be setting up a 4x4 grow tent today. There are tons of brands of these things out there. I've seen all different kinds come and go over the years. Some really good ones that came and went, and like they're no longer there anymore. Um, this is not like you're going camping. You're not gonna pull it out a few times a year. This is something that you're gonna be in and out of every day. So zippers get worn out, the seams get worn out, things like that happen. So you wanna, you know, I recommend getting a good one. Um, this, this brand is the Gorilla Grow Tents, and they are excellent brand. Um, this is a four by four we're gonna be setting up today. They come in all different sizes. Um, you always don't always want to go get the smallest thing you can get. Um, plants don't like the, they, they want to be outside. They don't want to be jammed in a little tiny tent. So if you can get a tent that's tall and big, that's better. Then there's too big because a lot of grow, grow lights will only cover certain sizes. So you got to think about that too. If you get a five by five grow grow tent, there's not many lights out there that'll cover a full five by five evenly. So um, four by four is by far the biggest seller in here. Um, tents come in handy for like apartments and stuff like that. If you can't just tear up a room and you have to put up a tent, it's nice to have a tent because you can take it down and move it and not damage the place you're living at by throwing holes through the walls and everything. Um, all the tents come with ports, ins and outs for ports and ducting and electrical wires and they have supports in the tops that help hold stuff. but some of these really cheap ones that I've seen online, um, we've had used ones come in to the store and I'm like, if it falls down and your light lands on the plants while you're not home, and I mean, it's some really questionable quality on some of these tents. So, um, yeah, most big lights will do the four by four tents. So this tent we're gonna set up in our store as a display and we got some different things going on with it. Um, we're gonna put the full extension kit on it. This goes up to seven foot 11 um, with the extension that comes with the Gorilla Grow Tent. Most homes to code is eight foot to the finished drywall. So Gorilla knew that when they designed this, so it's seven foot 11. So you got one inch to slide the cover over the top. And before you go buy grow tent, the first thing you do is get out your tape measure and measure your ceiling. Cause I've had lots of customers want to bring their tents back cause they're in a basement. And I'm like, you got to measure first before you even try to think about what you're doing. Um, the other part is location. I wouldn't want to take this four by four grow tent and put it into a five foot by five foot closet because it's going to be blowing the hot air out of it into the closet. It's just going to make an oven within an oven and yeah having you know an actual room that has air conditioning in it is way better um where you put your tent at in your room is also important to think about um you need to be able to get around to the back side of the tent sometimes or at least one side so you can unzip it and maintain your plants and trim them and prune them and all that so if you have it crammed in a corner and there's a dresser beside it or something else and you can only get in from the front of the tent you're, you're just asking for dead leaves to be back in there and you're not gonna be able to maintain them as good. So we're gonna have it set up in the corner here and we'll be able to get it around the back side. We're gonna have it out from the wall about a foot and a half and then I'll be able to access the access hole to it easily. So those are things you wanna think about when you're buying a grow tent is where you're gonna put it, how big it's gonna be, all that. Um, with the extension on this, that gives you plenty of room to have your fans and filters and ventilation, lighting, all that stuff will be up out of your way in the tent. And it's nice to have them tall. So yeah, we're setting up the gorilla today. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Mm. All right, like I said earlier, measure first. <laughs> um, other tools you might need to do this are a pair of scissors. There's probably some zip ties in here. This will help cut the straps. If you not, go get your brand new box and use this. Whoosh, that's not the way to open it. And I, I know people have done that. Um, Gorilla, also a ladder comes in handy if you're putting extension on for sure. Um, two people doing this would actually make things a little bit easier. But for, for now, it's just me and my camera crew here. So, 
unboxing the gorilla. They do put a piece of cardboard in here so you don't try to cut through everything, but I still just gonna use the points of scissors here to get this thing open. <laughs> they got a nice little package job on their poles. And they're all lettered. What I do when I set tents up is I go A, B, C, D, and so on. So everything will be nicely easy to find. And use the directions. I know some people that don't want to use the directions, but this thing is a jigsaw puzzle if you don't have the directions. And they are available online. Um, your, your tops of your tent, I've had people come and say they're missing two poles. And this is actually four poles right here. So they're just stuck together. So get everything laid out nice. And I'm not gonna make everybody sit there and watch this whole setup as I do it. I'm gonna fast forward through this thing once I get everything out of here. This is your handy dandy directions here. Um, this can easily be slid around once you get it set up. They don't weigh much. They're, they slide across the carpet or whatever. Um, those are hanging straps, by the way. Comes in handy for the car dealer. Gorilla's got the nice bag. So if you ever need to travel with your Gorilla Grow Tank, you've got this awesome bag. All right, that's the floor liner. The floor liner is definitely nice to have. It'll actually hold in a flood if you have a leaky hydro system. That's your main skin. This is your extension part. That's a 12 inch extension. Um, you can actually put extra extensions on these tents too if you want to go a little higher. A couple of my, my guys do that before. Um, this is the roof of it. This model here has got the infrared blocking roof. So. Right. so that's pretty much the unboxing. All right, um, got our poles ready. They're all divided up in alphabetical order. And pretty much all the tent size you've ever seen that I've set up, pretty much what you're gonna be doing is building the tent inside the floor. So you don't build the frame and then try to get it in there. Um, I've had people rip their tents trying to do that. And don't wanna do that. So we're gonna try to banana this thing out Of the tanks. That's what we're going to be uh, building into. Um, and then when we're done, we're going to kind of banana it back up and attach it to the top. And like I said, you'll be able to slide this around when you're done. So. Here, the handy dandy instructions have everything with different letters and everything so you can just look at this and figure out what you got to do um yeah that's the banana ad I was talking about on here and then this also goes into the whole extension part I'm gonna be just fast forwarding through this whole thing so I'm gonna take my mic off and should be done in about 20 seconds, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to build this from the floor up. And I just wanna show you the corners real quick. On the Gorilla tents, there's the corners, two, there's two holes on the part that goes up or down. And then the one parts that go um, horizontal, there's only one hole. So that's how you know which side you're on. And then it's got a little button here. So you push the button in 
and then it locks it in that way it won't come apart so I'm gonna go build this thing
All right, um, got everything pretty much together. Yeah, the top was tight. We had one inch to work with, and um, there's plenty of little features about this tank, like on the sides here. Got a nice little Velcro holder here for your doors to get them out of the way. Um, viewing windows. Let's see. Around back here, I wanted to show you guys what. Uh, um, when I was putting it together, we couldn't really show you this, but I'm going to show it to you now. Pretty much all your zipper, zippers come to the middle here. And on the inside, there's two Velcro things for this bottom section that strap on here to hold it there to help you get it together. So that's really nice to have that here, up here also. Um, so while I get sealed up, this is the back access door I was talking about. Um, if you need to get in and prune your plants, it's nice to be able to get behind your tent and do that. It's gonna be really hard from the inside. Um, this is to let your fresh air in. And I usually do something about like that. And you got your duck ports. These are, I believe are 10 inch on all the gorillas, the regular gorillas. This is cord ports to run cords. There's also a lower cord port back there, so that really comes in handy also. These are double sleeved. They have a sleeve on the inside and the outside. Some of the cheaper tents don't have that, they just have one sleeve. Um, yeah, I want to show you the back side of that tent. whole thing I put together in it was about 20 minutes in real time. <clears throat> These uh, some of the cheaper tents also don't have the flap that covers up the zippers, so light can get through there. A lot of the cheaper tents. Um, inside you've got your little pouch here. Random stuff goes in there. I've, I use it for like the high ground or once in a while. And, And up on the ceiling, we're going to put these support poles on. Hello. These are what you're going to use to hold all your stuff on the ceiling. It comes with four, and people always are like, can I get more poles? And if you do things right, four is all you need. Um, I have hung from the ceiling on one of these before, <laughs> like in the old advertisements they had. You'll see one bar is down farther than the other, and that's because that one sits on top of the one that hangs down farther. So, that's about the end of putting this thing together. And you can slide these around once they're already up there, so. And this is, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be adding some more stuff to this tent. This is all part of a big project. In our next video, we're gonna do lighting and ventilation and we're gonna, also be putting an awesome hydro system in here that's custom made for this tent and we sell it on our website so so there it is <laughs> I can hang <laughs> don't recommend you do that but it can hold 300 pounds on the ceiling. So even with your carbon filters and lights and everything, you are fine with a Gorilla Grow tent. And I'm not sponsored for this. We saw my store, I have other brands too. I just happen to like them a lot. I think they're just well-made and you should try one out. Um, and thanks for watching this video. Um, hopefully some of the little tips and tricks I showed you will help you decide on what you're gonna buy. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. And, and again, I'm Gary from PA Hydroponics, York Springs, Pennsylvania. And we have a store in 
Maryland called Olga Garden Supply. Come check us out if you have if you're in the area. And you all have a good day.